I arrived to Vladimir, one of the most beautiful towns in Russia. I am by the railway station, not the most picturesque place to start a journey from, but that's the place where I just arrived. When in Moscow the Kremlin was not even built and the Moscow was the wooden here in Vladimir was already the Golden Gates. Vladimir was the capital of Russia. Like it is just one hour and a half from Moscow by train. Vladimir is a great town to explore the old Russian cities and the provincial life in Russia. There are frequent trains from central Moscow to the central of Vladimir and Vladimir is the capital of the same region. There are 350,000 people are living in Vladimir and the population is slightly but growing. The younger people are emigrating from Vladimir to the bigger cities. The population are mostly growing thanks to the inhabitants of the smaller cities nearby coming to Vladimir. Vladimir has a very interesting location. It's situated on two hills and I personally very much like when cities are located on the hills. It makes the location of the city and the city itself more interesting. We're gonna go first to the monastery. It's a very beautiful example of the stone cutting techniques. This is the functioning monastery, it is the male monastery and there are some monks are living here. It's beautiful inside and all the churches are opened. One thousand of years ago Vladimir was a very prosperous principality and the principalities was being all among Russia, so it's Rizan, Suzel, Yaroslav, Vladimir. It was more or less different uh, governments and they were fighting to each other and then um, one guy, I don't know, it's embarrassing, I don't know the history of Russia, but he basically united all the principalities and the Rus, Russia, has been established. That's a story. And we are going to another architectural masterpiece in Vladimir. There are plenty of them, there are lots of churches being built in medieval age and the masters and architects from Europe and other parts of the world was coming here. Vladimir is situated on the Klezma River and there is even a little lake on it. Vladimir is the gate to the Golden Ring and the Golden Ring is in famous itinerary among one of the most beautiful Russian cities. There are many, many visitors in Vladimir. It's a very popular destination among national and international travelers. It's rather the insane Russian tradition. Since Soviet time, in many cities, they color, they paint the bottoms of the trees in white. Such a huge space here, it's lots of people and it's a public space, but I cannot see any benches in here and I think this is a great spot to put some to people to relax because many of them are just walking and no place to see it. We are on one of the main squares of Vladimir. And here in the city center also all dish buildings. This is the main street of Vladimir. Like usual globalization stuff, Uber, McDonald's and KFC. This is the shopping arcade. It's built in many Russian cities. And this city named after the person who made the Russia to be Christian Orthodox. His name was the principal Vladimir and he was living in this 
city and the city named after him. Before the water utilities was employed, people were coming and getting water through these devices. Strange street of Vladimir with lots of street vendors selling different souvenirs and artifacts. These are the famous golden gates of Vladimir. Another attraction I just had to show it to you guys. This is completely off the beaten track. This is out of Vladimir. And then I had to go and find the hole in the fence. And then I have to go one kilometer through the field. What I'll show it to you, you're gonna love it. And now I need to go to the field. And then I'll show it to you one of the best churches in Russia, the very old one. It, it's in many pieces of art and in the school books, dozens, even the hundreds of travelers coming to that church. I told you it's very famous and it's very beautiful. It's so beautiful that even the car road has been closed because it kind of breaks this uh, authenticity of that church. It's so beautiful that even the electricity stumps and cables has been removed to preserve the medieval look. It's a very authentic church. It looks very medieval, very Russian. It's from the 12th century and that is just the masterpiece. It looks just magnificent. I'm glad that the government removed the electricity cables and limited transportation to the church. After seeing enough of the churches, I decided to check out the suburban areas to see how the, you know, usual people are living out of the center. And it looks like typical blocks of houses. We called it panel houses. They made it from uh, little panels put on top of each other. The quality of tow path sometimes should be better. So we are in some kind of um, yard in between two panel houses. There is the space for the rubbish bins and then some benches and the kids playground. This tube supplies hot water in winter time. We're going to the yard of another house block and again the same infrastructure playground for kids added to the outdoor gym and calisthenic bars. Who watch my channel, you know that I love calisthenics and I'm aim to do more exercises. So I take the chance and I do the exercises here too. Ooh. Russian cities are ahead of London in terms of the calisthenics bar. They're almost in everywhere. Whereas in London is just in particular places. It's harder to find. It's not as common as here. Retail hides it between houses. That's a nuts and vegetable, cosmetics and alcohol. People where you can put the drinking water into big plastic bottles. And here in between houses, in between apartment blocks, you'll see detached houses quite old. Typical Russian car. See the blocks after blocks. More and more houses. Typical Russian city looks exactly like this. Here at the Bergman part of Vladimir, I'm finishing this video. I hope you like it. And if you did, then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I would love to get connected to you. Comment what you would like to see in the next video. It will help me to get known you guys better and know what to produce for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.